Have you been diagnosed with nasal polyps? Contact Prism Clinical Research for more information about our nasal polyp study. This Twins final pitch presented by Prism Research. Tom Hannum and Roy Smalley following the Twins 10-4 win over the Tigers Sunday. They sweep the four-game series in Detroit and now in pretty good position the rest of the way to lock up that second wild card spot. Four uh, game sweep against the Tigers have put them in a terrific uh, position. So let's kind of look at what they've done. Th their pursuers have uh, games uh, today and Monday with Twins off day. We wake up on Tuesday morning and let's assume the worst that their pursuers have, will have won today and won Monday night. The Twins will have a four game lead with six games, everybody having six games left. Twins would need to win two of those and force all their three pursuers to go 6-0 and down the stretch. Two wins, one in, uh, any one of uh, any two in Cleveland or any two against Detroit at home the, uh, in Target Field the last weekend in the series. So it ain't over till it's over. Um, I, Yogi was my manager. I heard, him, I heard him say that a number of times. But the Twins have put themselves in a very nice position. Key might be the way the Tigers are playing right now. They dropped their seventh straight today. They have uh, lost 14 of their last 16 games in the month of September. After the game, Paul Molitor is proud, he says, of what his team accomplished in Detroit. You know, offense really was uh, very consistent throughout. You know, last night we had to scramble late to do it, but we put up a lot of points on the board, and, and pitch, pitching was plenty good. Um, you know, Jose was sharp early, ran into tr trouble, gave a couple kind of scratch runs there, but we, we got him right back. Um, a lot of good offensive days. Esco, you know, what can you say, a part-time player most of the year, and he ends up with 20 homers and 70 RBIs plus, and Polanco continues to get big hits, Joe Doge. Uh, just, uh, you know, feels good. You know, we're going to go into Cleveland where they don't lose much. We get that, um, but we've got to just try to keep it going. Day off tomorrow for the Twins. That'll be good. Then the three-game series with the Indians in Cleveland starting on Tuesday night. Cologne, Mejia, and Kyle Gibson on the mound for that Thursday morning start in Cleveland. And uh, as Paul Molitor says, they understand where this team is right now. The Indians have 16-game lead over the Twins in the division, but a good tune-up as you get ready for postseason play. Well, you might as well play the, uh, the best around because if you want to uh, be in the postseason, that's who you're going to be playing. So a good test for the Twins, particularly good test for the offense to uh, all the hitters to go in against some, some uh, tougher pitching now and s see what kind of bats they need to have to put up good numbers against better pitching. Hope you'll join us Tuesday night at 5.30 for Twins Live Game 1 uh, against the Cleveland Indians. This Twins final pitch presented by Prism Research.